Hey everyone and welcome to this week's video. So this week's video is gonna be a new high-end starter kit for those of you out there who are looking for some high-end bits and bobs and can't find what you want to buy with your money. So, I spent long after that long-winded intro, let's get on into the video. So the first product that I have to share with you guys, uh, I think it's around £32 and you buy the pump. This, I'm sure you guys expected it, is the NARS Sheer Glow. In case anyone's curious, I wear the shade Mont Blanc. This is a godsend. Um, especially for those of you with drier skin as well. This makes you look healthy, radiant all day long. Um, and I also feel like it is so worth it for like just longevity as well. Like the color range is amazing. I just really like it. And this is my second bottle. It's not sheer, <laughs> that's the thing. Um, I feel like you can get a sheer coverage with it, but if you're going to apply it with a brush, you get more coverage than go over it with a beauty blender. Again, it's all down to personal preference, but if you've got oily skin, I would say there are better foundations for you out there. However, dry and normal combo skin, this is going to be a godsend to you guys. The next thing is quite possibly my favourite purchase of all time. This is NARS. This is the NARS. I even kept the thing that nobody keeps. Um, this is the NARS Duo in the shade Isold. I remember when I first swatched these eyeshadows, maybe three years ago. Oh, just look at them. I swatched them three years ago and they are so buttery and creamy and I remember just touching them and feeling like, oh my god, these are like velvet compared to any other eyeshadow brands that I have that includes Urban Decay, etc. I'm doing this so that you guys can see just how great they are. They are amazing, they are autumnal, they last forever, they are pretty expensive, but my god, are these worth it? Like, I need so many more of these. The next, like, similar range is a Morphe palette, as you can tell it's Morphe. Um, most people would say they don't consider this high-end, but to me, £22.50 I think they're on Beauty Bay now for. Um, still a lot of money and, you know, I know lots of people who wouldn't pay that for eyeshadows. So, yeah, this... Oh! Uh, did it in the same shade again. This is what the palette looks like and... As you can tell, I use a lot. I tend to stick to why am I doing this. So these, one, two, three, four rows there. One, two, three, four. And the bottom and those shades there. So basically, this section I haven't touched yet. <laughs> apart from, oh, I keep going to the opposite side. Apart from this one, uh, I tend to not use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just because they're cool toned. But yeah, this is amazing. I find the metallics in here to be insane. Like, ooh, hello. Um, I'll swatch them by some of my NARS ones. Again, it's very, very pigmented. And I feel like, oh, for the range you get in this palette, it's amazing if you love, again, warm tones like moi. Um, so yeah. It's a lot of money, but it's definitely worth it if you like cool, cool tones. <gasps> Warm tones, Misha. Yeah, that's all I can say about that. They're very blendable, very pigmented. You've all heard of Morphe, so why am I even bothering? Some of the products I don't have with me physically, so you're just going to have to take my opinion on them because they are currently being ordered. So, um... One of them I'm going to mention now is the Urban Decay Concealer. That is a weightless one. Oh my god, that is a great concealer. I haven't tried Tarte Shape Tape yet, so mm, I don't know how I'm going to feel after that. But I love it for like face concealing under eye. But like face, it's so highly pigmented that like if I've got like a splodge of red here, I can just do one swipe. I remember my friend literally saying to me, wow, your skin is flawless after that. And I've got red skin, hence the cheeks. So yeah, that is one of the ones I don't physically have with me. The next one I do, and it is the Benefit Gimme... I was about to say Gimme Brow. 
Cabral. This is in the shade 4. I love this for everything it is. I love the brush, I love the product. I do a swatch of it on my hand. Uh, this is becoming everyday. That looks so much darker, but it's really not. Um, it's amazing, it's blendable, it's pigmented, it's everything you want in a brow pomade when I can't use brow pomades. That brush thing that it comes with, you can do it like that, but I tend to just take that off and use that. It's amazing for the money and it literally takes me five minutes to do my brows with this, whereas every other brow product, you have a pencil, build, build, build. This is like, fill it in, done. So top notch. The next thing, again, some people might not consider these products because I'm going to mention them together as high end, but I kind of do because they are way more expensive than the drugstore. These are two Kiko products. This is a Radiant Luminous, no, Radiant Fusion uh, powder and this is their blush in the shade 3. These are amazing. Like if there is one thing I know about Kiko is that their face products are top notch. They blend into the skin amazingly, but they are really expensive. Like this is like something like £12, maybe even more. Um, I got it on sale, but it's friggin' amazing. Uh, I know loads of like drugstore um, ones that are way cheaper, which is why I put it in my high end, but it's so worth it if you've got dry skin and you feel like your skin constantly just looks caked and powder. That's a really good one. The next the blush, again, amazing formula with their powders is what I find. Like, they've got such a good lab. <laughs> I really want to get in touch with this lab because their powders are everything. Okay, the next thing is pretty new, slash not new because I got it like months ago, but um, this is the tried and true that everybody like raves about. This is the Soleil Tan de Chanel by Chanel. Um, this... This was like liquid gold when I bought it. In fact, I've still got the bag it came in. And as you can tell, I barely like even made a dent in it, but I use this every single day. It is the best colour and watch just blends so well into your skin and just looks so frigging good. And it will last you a lifetime. Plus you get the bougie Chanel bag, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it is absolutely amazing like I didn't use to like bronzer before I tried this it blends seamlessly looks great I've got pale ass skin and it looks phenomenal I know people who've got medium skin dark skin it works this is my like one product if all of my makeup disappeared I'd want this just gonna put it out there now this is the last of the ones that I've got like on me right now but I'll put some on the screen that I don't have with me currently. This is the Max Fix Plus. Is there really any need to say anything more? These, these, oh I do. This is the stuff of dreams. It makes your powders settle into your face amazingly. Um, it makes your eyeshadows more pigmented. For me, it keeps my makeup on that a longer, even though some other people say that it's not. But maybe that's just my skin type, so that's my preference. It is amazing. Give it a go if you haven't already. Okay? Okay. High end wise, I would say my two favourite lipstick formulas are the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks and the NARS lipsticks. These are the greatest formula that I have tried in a long time for actual formula, formulas, <laughs> actual lipsticks. Um, I used to be top notch on MAC lipsticks but I don't tend to wear those anymore. Um, but yeah, those two formulas are really great if you're looking for some kind of like lipstick option but then again so is MAC. Um, again, not my favourite anymore, but it's up there and it's really good if you're starting off. So give those kind of a go, see how many you like, etc. Liquid lipstick wise, ugh, <laughs> there we are. Liquid lipstick wise, I would definitely say the Huda Beauty lipsticks are the bomb. Like, these are quite expensive to me anyway, they're £18. Pounds. <sighs> Mate, they are top dollar, the formula's great, the colours are great, it lasts forever, oh I need so many more of these, 
thanks to Beth for introducing these to me, but oh my days, they blow my mind, that formula. <sighs> I need to stop <laughs> and breathe. Another note, her lashes are amazing. The Samantha lashes, living, dying, breathing in those lashes. Highlighter wise, I like the Balms Mary Luminizer and the Anastasia Glow Kits. Um, again, for different reasons, different colours, but their formulas are amazing, so get your hands on those. Ah, eyeliner, Kat Von D, um, what's it called? Oh my god, tattoo liner. <laughs> I had to think that then, oh my god, my bags are seriously showing. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> the tattoo liner is amazing. I don't know what it is about her like tip on it or the formula, it's just black it's great it takes me seconds to do a wing and i love it so go with her liner that is it for this video and i hope you guys liked it as it's updated and you guys really liked the last one so yeah i'll see you guys in next week's video bye guys